G'day, g'day. It's Nick here and welcome to Wicked Wildlife. And in this episode, we want to have a look at a pretty prehistoric looking lizard, and that'd be this fella here, the Boyd's Forest Dragon. So stick around, guys. Pretty dangerous. Wicked Wildlife encounter. This is telling our So these are boreal dragon lizards, are native to North Queensland, between Townsville and around Cooktown, basically in rainforest and adjacent country to, to the wet rainforest up of the tropical north. And up there they spend their time living on vertical branches where they can basically suss out any creepy crawlies, any invertebrates below them that they can pounce down and grab. Things like spiders and crickets and earthworms and, and the like. They're basically entirely insectivorous. One of the most interesting things about these guys though is because of the environment they live in, sort of a thick forest environment where there's not a heap of access to open sunlight because of the canopy, rather than actively basking like a lot of reptiles that we know around the world do, these guys don't actively thermoregulate. They don't chase body temperatures. Instead, they do what we call as thermoconforming. They're essentially just adapting to the temperature that the ambient air is around them. Now, they can get away with this because where they live, it's generally a very stable environment. So they can get to the temperatures they need to do the things that they need to do without having to go and chase the sunlight. The issue for this is that because these guys are very dependent on that stable environment, they're actually one of the few reptiles that's directly threatened by global warming. And it's estimated that a change of only two degrees over the next 50 years would make about 90% of the habitat that these guys currently live in unsuitable for this species which really places them at a risk of extinction due to global warming. So we think of global warming and, and hot temperatures as only a good thing for reptiles, but they, reptiles in general need specific temperatures for different species. And these guys here don't have anywhere to go. They can't move further south, it's not the right sort of habitat, can't move north, where they live is where they are. And if that changes, these guys are gonna be in trouble. Luckily, however, because these guys are such sort of interesting lizards in captivity, they're very well represented in, in private and public collections around the country. And while this is a good thing, because it essentially means we've got a backup population of these guys, so we don't ever lose them entirely, the issue is that if they're disappearing because where they live is no longer suitable, we might have all these animals in captivity, but if we can't have anywhere to release them to that suits them again in the wild, then what are we gonna do? So it's really a comfort to know that we do have this backup population if we really need to, but it'd still be a bit of a shame if these guys one day only existed in captivity because of climate change. So they're a really good reason of why, you know, we all need to do our thing to try and limit our impact on the global temperature, because this guy to me looks like he's been around since the time of the dinosaurs, and I think it'd be an absolute shame to not be able to go around the rainforest in North Queensland and see these guys for ourselves. So anyway, guys, you can see why he's such a cool lizard. It's pretty hard not to be impressed with something like this fellow here. And uh, you can see why I think we all need to do our bit to help him out. But anyway, thanks for watching and, and I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, hit that subscribe button down below, leave a like, a comment, all that sort of stuff. Uh, check on back next time. And as always, guys, be nice to our wildlife. Have a good one and take care.